welcome to another beautiful, beautiful Thursday. You know how we do it right here on Citizen Television in the morning on daybreak every Thursday. Nisiku ya kutiandani. Tuatiandani, dani, 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 dani. And I take on my most important role at Royal Media Services as being the official food tester. However, the official food maker is not I. The maker is here. His name is Chef Raj. Uh, good morning. Good morning. You're doing well? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Citizen Television. Thank you so much for coming through. This amazing spread that you're about to see here, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so there are different things here, right? So this amazing spread has been uh, made possible by Bidwood Suits. Now, if you want to go to Bidwood Suits, they're on Lower Cabeta, they're behind Sarit Center. You can go check them out there. You can also check them out online, Bidwood Suits on Instagram. Uh, so Lower Cabeta behind Sarit Center for your conferencing needs, accommodation, Nico Ital, Pia, Poivo, and spas for the ladies. All you got to do is to go check them out so these are the amazing condiments here and chef raj happens to be the executive chef over at bidwood suits and he's going to uh, walk us through what exactly we are making today he's come through and uh, he's come through with some amazing things so first of all what are we looking at over here so we're we'll looking at some really great ingredients mm -hmm. you know we've got some nice breakfast ingredients to start with we're mm -hmm. going to do a nice masala egg florentine florentine you know so something different from what we do from eggs benedict egg yes, yes. florentine mm -hmm. uh, Give it an Indian twist to it. Okay. Uh, very simple dish. Mm -hmm. uh, goes really well you know, for breakfast. Okay. After that, we're going to go with a very healthy breakfast, which includes of fruits. Okay. You know, granola, which is very healthy as well. Got mm -hmm. nuts. Mm -hmm. You know, sultanas, oats, mm -hmm. uh, and of course yogurt. Mm -hmm. After that, we are going to do something called the firecracker chicken steak. Wait, wait. Uh, that. Firecracker chicken steak. Now, yes. I've had the pleasure of tasting a little bit of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> so kindly, don't make it too fiery. Just no a little. Problem. So this is the condiments right here, the granola. This is this is the secret ingredient that Professor Utonium added to make the pop of girls. Chemical X. Okay. This is chili. <laughs> it's chili, right? That's oh, called the crazy sauce. Crazy sauce. Yes. And believe me when I tell you, oh, oh it's crazy. All right. And we have some vegetables over there as well. Uh, we have some uh uh, Americans will say corn and uh, any odoma, yeah, yeah, any maize and beans, <laughs> aka gaveri. Hey, so this is going to go where? Well, you're going to taste it. Yes. Um, so that's called a very special Kenyan twist dish mm -hmm. that we came up at uh, the Wintana restaurants okay. with my chefs, mm -hmm. and we call it the Ugali Sushi Bomb. Ugali Sushi Bomb. Yes. The Ugali in question is here. Yes. But let me take this one and just mark it. You see, there is Ugali today. Watch any mark in the mojoni yango. Okay, so that's my when it comes to testing. <laughs> Alright, so let's start then. Okay. First of all, make sure your pan is hot. Okay. Yes. And we have some condiments there as well. What are the, what are these? What's so we've got some salt, pepper, of course, main seasoning that you need. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. We've got some uh, turmeric powder. It's so nice to cumin powder. That way. Yes. Cumin seeds, people. Yeah. Good, good for digestion. <laughs> Alright, good. So that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. And some Kashmiri chili and coriander powder. Okay, so that's going to go to the different things of the eggs. With the eggs. With the eggs. So we're going to first start up with the eggs. Eggs, flour, two eggs. A big shout out to Spicy. Spicy uh, has watched my stories where I put all this food, and she just said, "Aye!" So Spicy, thank you for watching. <laughs> we better eat. <laughs> so start with two eggs. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add the seasonings. Okay. So just a pinch of salt, a little bit of pepper. Uh -huh. See a bit of that, cumin seeds. Just a bit of everything. Just a bit of everything. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then we come to the fresh ingredients mm -hmm. where we're gonna have now, I love these in the morning, they wake you up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A bit of uh, onions. Some onions. We can go with coriander. Mm -hmm. I love coriander. Mushrooms. Mushrooms as well, nice. Yeah. And not to forget some tomatoes. tomatoes. Now we're just gonna give it a wee whisk. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. There you go. So, so that's kind of done. Okay. Eggs the more Florentine. you whip it, the fluffier they get. Mm -hmm. So, that's ready here. Just gonna let it sit for a minute. Okay. The pan's hot, nice enough. We're gonna lower the temperature down. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the pan is smoking. Right. I'm gonna add a bit of olive oil. Healthy stuff. Healthy stuff. Right. So make sure just swirl it around. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put in the. There you go. Beautiful. 
You see the sizzling sound? Mm -hmm. That shows that your pan is well, nice, seasoned and hot. Mm -hmm. On this side, okay. we're going to caramelize the buns. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take one of these homemade brioche buns. Okay. Oh, these are homemade? Ventana. Okay, nice. Uh, everything we do there is homemade in pastries, mm -hmm. you know, breads, mm -hmm. uh, all the sauces that we do. Mm -hmm. All homemade. Mm -hmm. By the way, today also, uh, I, I, I didn't know, but great minds think alike. See, his name is yeah, Raj Shah. And my name is right here too, homie. Ha <laughs> ha, peace and love. Anyway, go on. Right, <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. Yes. So this is uh, butter. Butter. Okay. If you don't have butter, could you use margarine or it's not recommended? You, you can, think? but you, you can. want to get the best flavor is from ah, butter. So we're going to just uh, spread that on the bun. Uh -huh. Okay. That's plenty. Okay. Gotta make sure your pan's hot. Put the butter side down. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between this? Okay, now the, the Benedict is under the water, right? Which one is on? Oh, that's a poached egg. That's a poached egg. Okay, so what's the, what's the difference? What's what makes it Fiorentine? It's just the just the name. Just the name. But okay. it's got uh, generally poached eggs. You've got you know you've got a hollandaise sauce that goes with that. Ah, okay, okay. So I've got a different twist to that. Yes. So I'm using a nice omelet that I'm gonna then put on the bun. Okay. And we're going to have some nice dressing on it. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, so all right. Just going right. to make sure that this is well cooked. We're going to flip it around. Flip it. See, so yeah, I like a nice golden brown. Yeah. Crispiness on the that's omelet. Good. That's what you want. Okay. This is doing well. Oh, yeah. You know, when it goes back, but that's tough to do with it. All right. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait, can't wait. Okay. So your omelet's going to take a bit, around uh, a minute or two, okay. uh, depending how you want it. Mm -hmm. You can have it medium soft cooked or you want it really well done. Mm -hmm. It just depends on your personal taste right, right. at the end of the day. Yeah, the guys who like it runny a little bit, but it's all good. Okay, so that's perfect. That's, good. that's what okay. I want. I want that caramelization. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start plating this straight. First goes the bun okay. on the plate. Mm -hmm. And then this is a very secret sauce that's homemade again. It's called aioli. Aioli. Uh, that's made from mayonnaise and garlic and a bit of seasoning. Mm -hmm. so aioli. Put some that around. aioli. And then something to crunch it up is fresh mint leaves. Mm -hmm. The egg is okay. The egg is okay. Okay. <laughs> She's fine. All right. So we're going to flip it this way. And right. we're gonna flip it like that. And then all we're gonna do is put that on top here. Would you look at that? <laughs> and you can take some coriander mm -hmm. just to garnish it up. And then not to forget the sauce. Aioli, you said. Yes. And voila! Whoa! The masala egg florentine. Look at that! All right. <laughs> Under the contract, number 16F, my contract says, official Royal Media Food Tester, you will from time to time be required to test amazing food. Where? Nanimoto. <laughs> I can see the steam. <laughs> I'm going to have to blow on it. <laughs> Lindsay, what is it? Okay. I think I'm about ready. Naikini Choma. I think I have. Eh? <laughs> okay, so here we go. It's still steaming, so I'm buying time, people. Don't think, oh, I'm a. Oh. Like I always say, every day we like to ask you a question. So, how, what do you call egg in your language? Use the hashtag daybreak and let me know. What do you call egg in your language? CC, what to our United Kingdom or United Kisu, to Naita Tong, T O N G. Tong. Nanyeni, na kwa kilu ya lindsi na ito nini mayai? Ma what? Ma vuyu. Ma vuyu. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Ma vuyu malai. Mm. This is very good. I like that. Thank the, you. The mushrooms and everything. It's not so chilly. Because I'm not crying yet. <laughs> it's really good. I'll take one more and then we'll make the next thing. Woo! This makes every day worthwhile.
That's why I love Thursdays. And the aioli is good too. I'm going to get more of it. More of the aioli. Here we go, people. Are you ready? Even if you're not, I am. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Mm. So what's next? I like it. So now we're going to go for the, the ultimate granola fruit trifle. Mm -hmm. This breakfast dish is very light. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have it any time during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not hungry during lunch, that's a perfect uh, thing to have. Okay. So let's start. So let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So, if you're just joining to my Tegneza Apa Egg Florentine, okay, this is Willis was here. And then after that now, we're going to the next one. So relax and take notes, all right? You could be able to make this as well. So let's go. Okay. So this is very easy. It's a build-up. Okay. Uh, you can build it however you want. All right. So it's like it could be your own style. Your own style, okay. your own recipe. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a bit of granola at the bottom of the wine glass. Okay. Um, I think that much will do. Okay. And then you've got your choice of fruits. So I've got some bananas. Some bananas and popo. Popos. Popos are really good. Popo Fiber. Papaya, you know, good for digestion again. Good for digestion. Um, so are mangoes. Our mangoes. <laughs> and watermelon. Just drop that in like that. Okay. Now, there comes the yogurt. All right. This is plain yogurt or plain vanilla? yogurt, plain, plain okay. natural yogurt. All right. You don't need any sweetened yogurt because of the fruits. You've got the natural sweetness from the fruits. All right. Just pop it in like that, and what I like to do is we will do that at the end. Okay. That's the secret of this. All right. So we'll go again. We'll do another layer. Another layer of granola. Of granola. And some mangoes. And some watermelon. This is something easy. You can make it up within five minutes. Uh -huh. Doesn't take that long. Okay. So we're going to press this a bit in. To finish off, just going to add a bit of yogurt mm -hmm. <coughs> and I'm going to place that on a plate like that and not to forget our best friend the mint and oh. voila and and that's it look at that look at how it looks it looks so nice and healthy and I'm sure it tastes good <laughs> okay I'll taste it do I taste it I mean, that's what no you're not going to taste that's that for display. That's, that's for display that's for display but, but now to, because um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh-huh. I want you to make your own fruit trifle. Oh, yeah? Let's see how you... All right, people. Relax, sit back. Sit back, ladies and gentlemen. On the cooking bench. <laughs> Willis Koinange. <laughs> About to get it. You take a glass. <laughs> Put in some... Well, you said I can make it anyway, anyway the, right? Anywhere you want. Anywhere I want. Okay, so I'm going to switch it up. And start with uh, the bottom equa fruits. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness greatness. Right, I like bananas, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of that. And shake it out. Okay. Timo, are you witnessing history? And then I put some granola. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wee wee, granola. Yeah, like so. And now we go in with the yogurt. I have to be careful, you know. I have to also look like the chef. We don't want the glass all messy. Looking good so good. far. Looking good so far. Now mix it up with the colors. Get some of those mangoes in there. Yummy. Yeah, and then... Get some of the politician in there. Some of that watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Then the granola one more time. <clears throat> I know you like it. I know you want it. Then some yogurt. Yeah. Look at you guys watching in anticipation, shocked at the sheer skill and bravery 
of the wild, wild Willis. Nature's best kept secret. And then, <laughs> and then now, uh, get some of that, finally, for the fiber. And then just, again, some color, kidogo, apple. And cement. How come my mint is only one? I only got a leaf of mint. Well, it's okay. Voila, people. I call this Zebazu. Available at Bidwood. <laughs> Ask for Zebazu. <laughs> Actually, it does look kind of cool. Yeah, I'm proud it of does. myself. It's good, yeah? It does. On a scale of well, one, right. 1 to 10? I'll give you a 9. All right. It's yeah. a 9. I'll, I'll live with that. <laughs> That's good. That's amazing. There it is. I put it there as well. So there is the Chef Raj. It is the Raj and Zebazu. Two of the best you could ever find. Okay. Oh, awesome. I want you to try it. Oh, so I try it? Of course. Okay. You want to tell me how it is? <laughs> mine or yours? Yours. Okay, Not let me mine. try mine. Here we go. So, the key of this is to try to get as much of it in there as possible. So you want to dig deep in there. <laughs> All right, there you go. Mmm. 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 That's actually very good. Yeah. Do you enjoy the crunchiness? Yeah, the, the granola, granola. The yogurt mm -hmm. and the fruits. And the sugars from the fruits. I tell you what. Peace and love. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. Peace and love. Love and affection, as Coco would say. I'm going to take one more spoon, otherwise I'll finish it. Because <laughs> it tastes so good. The, what else is in the granola? It's so crunchy and nice. So you've got nuts. Mm -hmm. you, you can use cashew nuts, almonds. Mm -hmm. You can use pistachios, depending how well you want to make your granola. You've got oats. Mm -hmm. If you don't have all these ingredients, you can just use normal oats. Um, just toast them in the oven or on a frying pan. Mm -hmm. Just put some, you know, you can even put cashew nuts, you can put uh, peanuts. Just mm -hmm. depends on the nuts you like. Mm -hmm. You've got a variety of nuts available in the market. Yeah. Uh, sultanas, a great uh, sauce as well. You can use raisins, basically anything. Mm. Any dried fruits as well, you can use that. Mm. And goes well with the granola. Mm. All right, this is my last spoon, because there's much more coming up. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Mm. In the eyes of Snoop, I'd like to congratulate myself. Me, I worked hard. All right. What are we making next? Okay, so next we're going to make the firecracker chicken. Firecracker chicken, okay. all right. Mm -hmm. I like so the name. What we got is a chicken breast. Mm -hmm. uh, to get the best flavor out of it, it's always mandatory okay. to marinate your chicken. Uh, is it overnight or for some hours? You can do it overnight or you can do it for two hours, okay. uh, depending when you want to make it. Okay. So this has been marinated mm -hmm. in a bit of garlic and pepper mm -hmm. and a bit of salt. Okay. So we're going to add what we call the crazy sauce oh, 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 or the firecracker to that. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm only going to add a little bit. Oh, it, well, okay, that looks like a little bit. That's very little. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay cool. All cool. right. All right. So we're going to take that mm -hmm. and I'm going to use this one. Likely, I knew it. Okay. Trying to sneak in some more. <laughs> Just paste it around like that. Okay. And okay. we'll let it sit. Mm -hmm. We'll go up here. All right. Then. Back to the frying pan. So we're going to pencil the chicken. Okay. First. Mm -hmm. Just going to make sure the pan's really hot. Mm -hmm. And on this side, we're going to do the vegetables. Okay. So it's going to be which was the the broccoli and all that. We have cauliflower, broccoli, okay. French beans, okay. carrots. Those are the main common vegetables. You can add baby corn to that you okay. can add uh, snow peas sugar snap peas there's zucchini as well whatever vegetables you like that you, you like you can go asian style you can do mediterranean style mm. uh, you can have roast vegetables mm. or you can have steamed as well mm -hmm. that's healthy okay. that's so we're going to start off so we're yeah, going to yeah, add yeah. a bit of olive oil some olive oil one more time in both the pans okay <coughs> Just swirl the pan around and the oil's basically coating the bottom of the pan. Okay. So we'll start off with a steak. Oh yeah. 
Ah, the bomb, the firecracker. The firecracker it is. So, we'll start with outside. <laughs> Already I feel like sneezing because of, <laughs> of the firecracker special hot sauce. Oh my. To that, we'll add some seasoning, so a bit of salt uh -huh. and more pepper. That is where you get that firecracker result. Right. Ooh. The pepper, the hot sauce. <coughs> you guys don't understand. I tasted it a little bit earlier on. Um, it's just that you can't taste uh, from where you are, you know, at home, but uh, it's quite something. Uh, <laughs> I think Raj has enough experience with, with chili and hot, and hot sauce. Uh, I'm a little bit of an amateur stroke, beginner stroke, learner, and all of that. So, but will it stop me from eating? It cannot and even not so. I will eat. I own a demand, yes. I will eat. It's <laughs> So All right. You can see that oil is hot smoking. We're mm -hmm. going to add in some vegetables. Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay, we're going to add a bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. Just to add some flavor. <coughs> Just cross the pan around, let the flavors mix in. Now on this side, uh -huh. as you can see, it started it's changing. Really getting there. Right. Just want to give it another minute or two, mm -hmm. and then we'll flip the steak. Okay. The, the carrots. Now with the vegetables, mm -hmm. you can have them the way they are. Uh, you want to spice them up, you can add some spices to it. I'm just going to add a bit of seasoning. So the seasoning is very important. Okay. A bit of black Salt, pepper. Some black pepper. And we'll finish off with a bit of soy sauce just to give it that mm -hmm. nice flavor at the end to balance with this. The heatness with the, with the steak. Okay. So this is done. We're going to flip it. As you can see, oh, wow. nicely cooked. Yeah, that's right. A bit of golden brown with the black pepper. Amazing effect. Yep. That looks good. <laughs> it's good that the chili is also on one side, so. Yes. I could scrape You off can put it on both sides, I'm telling you. It's amazing. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> All right, I do. Fine. <laughs> Those are going to be nice and crunchy. Nice okay. and crunchy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a bit of soy sauce. Okay. Broccoli. <coughs> Sizzling away. Yeah. So generally that's how you know if it's ready, right? Yeah, Keep so you coming. can always uh, use a tongue um, and always try and get the thicker sides nearly done. Okay. So while we're waiting for that chicken to cook for a minute or two, we're going to make a nice dressing okay for it that will go on top of the chicken all right so to balance the flavors what we're going to do is we're going to have some lemon juice yeah. and not to forget oh. we're going to add a little bit <laughs> of this marinated firecracker oil okay Okay, cool, cool. And we're just going to mix that mm -hmm. around. You'll get the tanginess, the sweetness from the honey, and a really nice crunch from the coriander that will really complement the steak mm -hmm. and the vegetables. Okay. Very simple. That's it. That's all I want. Okay. We're going to now plate. <coughs> it's a bad get lit. It's always good to have a good portion of vegetables right. to complement your protein. That's it. Uh -huh. That will do.
do for me. And, and there's a cracker. Oh, that's the beauty. Okay. Woo! Look at that. And then we're going to just dress it up <laughs> with a nice lemon honey coriander dressing. Oh my god. <laughs> lemon honey over. cracker dressing. You added some firecracker there as well. No, I didn't. I watched it. I didn't. <laughs> You're hallucinating from the first time you had <laughs> Oh my god! I can't believe this. <laughs> All right, cool. Everybody, all right, we'll roll back the tape. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. Something simple like that, and good to go. So I'm a gonna really taste nice it. Healthy meal. Because I know we have. Hmm. The video I'm going to press just more time because we still have to make the sushi. Oh, so the, oh okay, cool. All right. Okay, so I have to taste this real quick. Where the, uh, where? Uh, you forgot your cutlery on that side. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pray for me, people. I'm about to go in. You know how the chili does. Woo I even got a, 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 a cold. Uh. <coughs> Do you have some juice just in case? <laughs> <laughs> so it's firecracker chicken. Firecracker chicken. There it is. You're going out on a better dog, you have Wanna pen a pili pili, so Ima <laughs> gotta blow on it. Cause already imagine it's hot. I love gonna hot you heat any. Alright people, I'm going in. This is for you, Kenya. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. So what flavors are bursting in your mouth? The cracker and the pepper. Um, in the in the hot sauce, yeah, and that, that's what I get. But it's really good. I I, did, I thought it's going to be really, <laughs> but it's not. So I can go for another one, and then we can make the ugali sushi bomb. But look at how it looks, though. See that? Hmm. How many should we not cover your son? Where? You may put a home. All right, people, gonna taste this. And then we're gonna make the Ugali sushi bomb. We still have about 10 minutes. So there you go. Look at that. It looks good. Are you ready? Are you praying for me? Have you said a prayer for me? All right then. Amen. Hmm. Okay. But there's a, a sweetness. Oh, that's the honey. That's the honey. Mm. To balance the spices. Mm. Thank you, honey. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay. I'm gonna take one last one. <laughs> then we can go. And make the other one. This one I won't even blow. I just said this one is for you, Kenya. I took three for the Sana, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm. That's some good chicken. All right, what's okay. next? So we go for the Ugali sushi bomb. Mm -hmm. For that, we're just gonna take rid of a few things. <laughs> Bravo on the chicken, by the way. I thought ah, that it's going to be you. hotter. Than, uh, because when I tasted it on its alone, I was like, Whoa, okay, okay, bravo, bravo. Mm -hmm. So, for the Ugali sushi bomb, mm -hmm. okay, you're gonna need to put the pans on. Ugali sushi bomb, I already like the name. So, what we're gonna do on one side, I'm gonna saute some spinach, okay, and then on the other side, we're gonna make some gideri, okay, and the final touch will be the Ugali, all right, okay. So, here Let's we go. Let's do it. So, a bit of olive oil again, okay. And then we're going to let it heat up. Mm -hmm. Swirl the pan around. All right. So, we'll start off with the gideri on that side. So, gideri first. Gideri first. Yes. A bit of onions. Gideri in the I like to add a bit of a twist. A bit of cumin seeds. Okay. And, some. and then some green chilies. <laughs> Woo -hoo. So we're gonna let it saute. Okay. And let it caramelize a little bit. Then we're going to add it's the ugali omuzuma. We want to put it inside the gaderi. We are tough. We are special. 
So for the saute spinach, you know we all love onions, so you gotta have onions. So this is for the spinach. That is for the gideri. Oh, for the gideri. Okay, then the spinach. All right. The spinach on this side. All right. I'm noticing. See how this turns out. Okay, so there you can see that's slowly caramelizing. Mm -hmm. You're gonna try and get rid of these a little bit of the sweetness from the onions. Okay. And that as well. So this is a nice way you can spice up your food as well, cause uh, you know, everybody you everybody has had ugali, everybody has had some gideri. Now I'm gonna mix it up. So relax. So we can do this at home anytime. It doesn't take. A lot of time, you know, when you want to serve something really quick in 15, 20 minutes or half an hour. Yeah. It's a perfect dish to have. Mm -hmm. Very easy to make. And we have this as a staple food for all Kenyans. Yeah. And why not give it a twist? Mm -hmm. you know, something different. Yeah. So. Something different, shouty. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to add some kidney beans. All right. And we're going to add some white maize. So this is gideri. Na hii gideri pia itaenda na ugali. Wacha niwaambie leo ni leo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just going to saute it for a minute or two and then we're going to add the tomatoes. All right. Now we're going to add the spinach on this one. Some spinach. All right. <clears throat> Just saute it. If you don't like spinach, Mm -hmm. You can use terere, you can use managu, any of them. Any of the greens, that are, they're all healthy. Yeah. Whatever you prefer okay. at the end of the day. Yeah. There's something I'm going to make with the watermelon at the end. Yes, you're going to make that watermelon salad. But I don't know if we'll have, I don't know if we can do both at the same time because of time. I will try to multitask. Okay. Um, <laughs> but hey, we'll see. If not, they can always be next time. No problem. So that's good. That's sauteed enough. Okay. So we're gonna move this to one side. Mm -hmm. What we wanna do is bring it back. Oh, this is the part ugali. I was waiting for. Have that night caramelized, and then gonna add some tomato puree. Add the tomato puree. There we go. Let's give that a mix. <laughs> Can't wait now to the ugali part. we're gonna do is pan seal this lovely ugali. Ugali in the heat. Be pan sealed. Then kuna hipi kwapa. Together. It's the ugali sushi bomb. Stay tuned. <laughs> yep. Okay. <coughs> So we'll do we'll add some water so that we can cook the tomatoes, oh. get rid of the acidity okay. from the tomatoes. Oh, that's what that is for. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> you have to get rid of the tomato acidity. 
Kosa. <laughs> Tim is getting all of the beautiful flavors. <laughs> okay. There we go. A simple flip. <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is the sushi bowl. Now we're going to taste this just to make sure that we have enough seasoning. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to make you try this and let me know what you think. All right, cuz you know how I do. Got to blow on it. Some more salt. More salt? Mm hmm Okay. Yep. Add a bit more salt there. But it should, it's good. The <laughs> Motunga <laughs> <laughs> The camera person, but it's just the spice, okay. it's the bomb. So we're it's done his. there. And we're done here. Now, the plating of this dish. All right, that's what we're okay. for. So, I'll start with the gideri first. Okay. You want another plate or? Oh, oh that's plate's here. It is time for the sushi bomb. I like to have the gideri at the bottom of the plate. Okay. We're gonna cover it all up. All right. Surprise level to Okay, so that's the gideri. All right. And then we're gonna have the ugali. ugali, which is penciled, and just an even space like that. Oh yeah! <coughs> and we're gonna take and finally this lovely spinach, sautéed in onions, just a wee bit. Yeah, this looks amazing. <laughs> and there you go. That is what I call an Ugali Ooh. sushi bomb. The Ugali sushi bomb, ladies and gentlemen, done. All right, let's see. Ah, I gotta taste this because of time. Ah, whew. The fires that has been here today, everywhere, just fire and fire. Oh, it's another one, okay. Do I use a spoon this time, right? Because I can scoop it up. Ah, all right, people. Ah. Yeah, I want to name this food the Gregory Juma Ugali Sushi Bomb. Or in honor of Gregory Juma, the AKA Dongle Master Flex. All right, let's go. So we'll take a bit of the ugali there, a bit of the spinach, and a bit of the... <coughs> Did you have any chili? No, there was no, there was no crazy or firecracker in this Okay, one. you know, I just want to confirm that our cut. Wakati wataka kutia ndani. So, mtazamaji, jizi unaweona sasa hapa tumehamasisha tumehamasisha eh, 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 githeri na na ugali. Uh, kuna haja kuniharakisha kwa sababu mulikula muda yangu. Aya, kuna ugali hapa pia na kuna sipinachi imetengenezwa. Na pia hapa kuna gatheri. Sasa nataka kuitia ndani mdomoni na tu enjoy. Hmm. Hmm. Nice love. High school. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a bit more of that get in there. Mm. It tastes really good. Because of time. Uh, hold on. Which one is passion? Is it this one? That one. This is passion? That's mango. Or this mango. Is this passion? That's mango. That's mango. Is this mint? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get something right. 
Well, like that big thank you uh, to Chef Raj. Um, okay. We made the egg plantain right here. Do here, pa. Just so that you see it. Uh, we've eaten a bit of it because you know it was made to be eaten. Then we also made the firecracker chicken and some vegetables, and finally the ugali sushi bomb. And all these you can find at Bidwood Suits on uh, Lower Kabete behind Sarud Center. You can also follow them on Instagram at Bidwood Suits. I say a big thank you to Z Management, Aizo in the crew, Wagwan, and Sana. And yeah, and Chef, thank you so much for taking your time to make this beautiful. Thank you very much for having process. us here it's, it's on board amazing. at Citizen TV. Asante sana. Aposao. So you go there, ask for Chef Raj Musalimia, executive chef, and ask for Bazoo. Like I always say, if any meal was 2,000 bob, the Bazoo discount will give you 1,999. And you. <laughs> Peace and love. I love you. 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 I love Nagideri. All right. It's a breakfast.